Welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use presenter notes inside of Keynote to allow kids to know what they need to be doing and work at their own pace. So let's jump right in. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you an example of student work so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So right here you'll see something called ecosystems and this is an actual project that I saw a teacher do and I asked if I could borrow it. And so for example when I press play you'll be able to see this works just like an app which I'm going to go into in another video where the kids actually have set up an app to where if I click grassland it jumps into their information, click home, maybe freshwater jumps into their information. But what's really cool is if I go to one of these pages and in the top left corner I click this little button right there you see show presenter notes. If I click that to turn on, now the presenter notes are now underneath that slide. Now what's great about this is this teacher has set this up already. So they set up a template and then sent it out to the students and then the students can go in and see, okay, I have to describe the ecosystem. I have to list three or more prints, etc. And then again, underneath that, she's used a guitar to show the students these are some bonus things or some extra things you can do if you do the have tos. So she's listed the have tos and the cans in the presenter notes. So let's jump in on how to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start a new presentation. Now again, this is me as a teacher creating the template that I'm going to send the kids for their final project. So again, right here, maybe we'll do story retell. And then in this other one, let's do add your name. Okay. And so again, that's that first page. And if I want some notes here, I can, but this one's going to be a pretty self-explanatory. So let's go to the next one. So maybe the next one, I'm going to have a beginning. So I'm going to use maybe this one right here and we'll type in beginning. And then I can just leave the rest of this blank and I'm going to top left corner, press this button, show presenter notes. I'm going to turn that on. And so then I can actually type um, right inside of this presenter's notes. Okay, so I'm gonna add a check mark for things the kids have to do. And so maybe on this one, they have to have, so maybe three sentences. And then again, back to emojis, one picture. So again, I'm gonna list the things they have to do. And then maybe I'm gonna train my students to know that if it's a heart, it's an extra or a bonus. So maybe they can add an animation or maybe they can add a drawing. Okay, so I have the two things that they have to do and then I have the two things they get to do. And then again, I would continue to add another slide and then add my information at the bottom. When I'm finished, I can airdrop this to my kids or if I'm using um, Apple Schoolwork, I can assign this in Schoolwork, which we will talk more about next year. So I hope this quick tip was helpful and I hope it's gonna be super helpful for kids to know that their instructions are now embedded within the project they're working on and that'll free you up in the classroom to work with individual students while the kids work at their own pace. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.